my pleasure this morning to be sitting with Helen Gessing, Professor Emerita mm -hmm. of the University of the Virgin Islands. And we're doing this as part of our celebration of nursing education at CVI and UVI, 50 years. But Helen came before then. And Helen, were you one of the first two faculty at CVI? I was uh, one of the first two local faculty. Uh -huh. The university, uh, Dr. Wanless, and I can't think of the name, of course. I'm going to have problems with names. Don't worry about that. Uh, the assistant, he was actually the son of a, of a nuclear scientist. But anyway, he came, he came down uh, to, to be the assistant to the president, and uh, they he was doing most of the hiring and put out a notice. Uh, my husband was tired of me uh, complaining about sitting around and washing diapers and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I mean, the youngest was still uh, only three years old. So uh -huh. uh, he said, why don't you apply uh, you know, to the to the college because I'd already applied for a job at in the high schools and I was told uh, that oh yeah you know we really like to have you um, you would teach um, biology chemistry and probably one of the math courses and I said no I couldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't even do any such thing I'm not qualified <laughs> and of course I learned afterwards that nobody at that level is qualified <laughs> to teach all those different courses or practically nobody so anyway um, I did decide all right uh, the college is looking for somebody to uh, come in part-time and uh, teach biology Okay. That was going to be the first of all the science courses. Mm -hmm. And um, there were already, I believe, there was a math instructor and um, a, what was the other one? Um, math, no, it was just math. <laughs> yeah, as far as, you know, science and math. Uh, and that person, like all of the early faculty members, uh, like the English uh, professor Robbins, Jerome Robbins, uh, and the social science professor, who uh, Phil Roop, who became uh, dean and was really absolutely terrific. He was the one that started, I think, really was instrumental in starting the uh, required uh, weekly seminar or whatever the students had to go to. Ideas and issues. Ideas and issues, thank you. <laughs> and um, they, uh, but they, they just uh, thought the two least important, you know, people, uh, you know, they could just hire somebody part-time from the States and then later they would replace that person. Uh, with a with a, a doctorate and you know proper <laughs> right credentials. I only had a master's, uh, so uh, one of the Butler daughters, uh, Hazel. Don't worry about the name. Anyway, uh, she was hired to be uh, secretarial studies um, um, teacher and. And, and remember, the butler. yeah, Adams, was she? Anyway. Adams, yeah, and 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 she, the, you remember this was a two-year college, and also interestingly enough, it was a quarter system, three quarters rather than two semesters, and the idea was in the first year of the college, which was going to be, starting in the uh, in the fall of '63, you would have uh, classes in the fall, and then you would break for this uh, winter session where the students could all go work, you know, <laughs> uh, okay. you know, in tourist related jobs. And then they'd come back in the spring and uh, in early, you know, early summer and mm -hmm. finish out the, the, the quarters. Wow. So um, I, I don't remember exactly how long that lasted, but I think it lasted right into the first year of the nursing program. 
uh, as best I can tell, in 1967, uh, 60, yeah, 65, 60, 1965, it, it was a semester mm -hmm, program, mm -hmm. right. So I was hired because I had wonderful, um, <laughs> wonderful recommendations from um, working in uh, a virus research lab in uh, uh, Jimmy Fund Building, uh, which was associated with um, the Harvard School of Public Health. Uh, and I don't think it hurt that my mother was a professor at Simmons College. Okay. Uh, for years and years and years, and she taught nursing students and med tech students. Uh, so I had I, I had a kind of an interest in that, and in college I, uh, but in college I decided, you know, I, I I'm not going to be a teacher. I could never be any anybody as great as my mother, and uh, so I was going to go into research. So that, uh, I was I was really glad to get this um, this job at um, Jimmy Fund, and uh, I, I had uh, there, I, I picked up uh, a lot of techniques with uh, cult trying to culture or grow viruses in, uh, in tissue culture. And the guy I worked for was in a team headed by John Anders, and they won a Nobel Prize in science for the ability, uh, for figuring out how to grow poliomyelitis virus, which had been tried for years and years and years, and it only, uh, it was only successful when they finally started using um, monkey kidney tissue, and that didn't work very well, and thank God, I mean, the poor monkeys. Uh, <laughs> uh, but then they, then they used human embryonic tissue. Can you imagine? Net doing, I mean, people who, who hear that now, <gasps> anyway, <laughs> uh, I mean, these, these were stillborn infants, you know, and mm -hmm. most of them, uh, right. I mean, they, they, were, they, were, they were contributing great things because that was how the vaccine was able to be developed. Uh, this is getting off the track, sorry. Uh, but I got a, a very good recommendation from Tom Weller, who was the, Dr. Tom Weller, who was the one that uh, worked with me. And, and uh, he, before I was married, um, he offered me a job to be head of the, um, of the, the microbiology, uh, no, parasitology department that he was opening up and expanding in the public health school. I see. So that how yeah. you so, your science uh, background. Uh, but I already had, uh, that was my master's, was mm -hmm. parasitology okay. and tropical medicine what and so on. What brought you to the Virgin Islands? Uh, my husband. Uh, Fred, Fred was, uh, you know, he was uh, um, uh, an architect and he got a job to replace a friend. He went to, he went to San Juan from uh, a New York architectural firm uh, in just for a year to be in San, in San Juan until this fellow was able to come back and uh, to, to the private firm of uh, Henry, uh, I think it was Henry Bloom, Henry somebody over in Puerto Rico, uh, took, took the exam for an opening for a historic preservation architect and uh, passed it and uh, decided, okay, I'm staying. Then uh, National Park Service uh, said, okay, uh, you're going to continue the, uh, working in, in San Juan, but we want you over in, um, in St. John uh, to survey all of the historic structures there and also in Christianstead, Frederickstead, and um, Child on it. So began a illustrious <laughs> career for your yeah. husband. Yeah, and every once in a while, <laughs> every few years, they'd, they'd say, uh, "Mr. Gessing, you have to, um, you have to, to leave. Uh, you know, you're, you've been, you've been longer. Every three years, they would shift people out, and um, that was that was one of one of the things that my husband was able to um, uh, just say, uh, no." Uh, I don't want to 
I don't want to go. I want to say, um, who else are you going to find who can speak Danish, who can read Danish, the old script, who knows how to do research, who also speaks Spanish, uh, and who uh, has a sort of a side, uh, you know, uh, experience in uh, in historical restoration of buildings. I'm going to move you from your <laughs> illustrious, wonderful husband, for whom we could talk about for tapes, right. <laughs> tapes, tapes, and move okay. you to the College of the Virgin Islands mm -hmm. and your teaching. Mm -hmm. um, you. No, I don't expect you to remember names, but there was a young lady named Pamela Sharp in, the, in those days. Yeah. And she was one of the first graduates of CVI. Uh -huh. And she <laughs> told me that she took biology from you. Oh, really? So it yeah. wasn't just the nursing students taking microbiology. Mm -hmm. Well, they, the nursing students took uh, biology yeah. in the beginning, as I remember, as I have been told. Mm -hmm. And then the microbiology came a little bit later. Right. But the yeah, the first year, um, first few years, I was just part time, right? And um, and but I was expected to do all kinds of things. Some of which I had to refuse. One was uh, one was to uh, get the the labs ready, mm -hmm. the first lab, mm -hmm. all order all the equipment, uh, and um, so I I my mother had died, you know, by then. I mean she. Unfortunately, died before my mm -hmm. first son was born. But um, she, um, she had a, a, a very good friend uh, uh, who was a bio, um, bacteriology uh, professor at, uh -huh. at Simmons College in Boston, and she helped me decide what is the what are the basic things that you should have for the laboratory. Oh, so I was great. able I was able to do that. And where was this built? Uh, it was built on the, the lower floor, uh, just as you come in the door, I think it was 101 or... Classroom Administration Building. Yeah, in the classroom. That had been originally yeah. the, built for the Navy right. back in World War II. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, so in there, um, you know, the this part of um, the Rifle Center was, the then Rifle Center, was then uh, up on the hill. Was then the dormitory, but it it also had uh, before that it was it was a um, um, well before 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 that it was it was part of uh, the barracks mm -hmm. for the um, the what were they the sub the CVs the CVs yeah and um, in fact the whole campus at was that Navy. time. Yeah, and all the houses Maybe. were the officers, houses were officers, officers quarters, quarters, and so forth. For and so, fa one family, each house. Yeah, and which yeah. takes me. You remember that there was a house where the library was built. Yeah. Who lived there? Governor King. King when he was. Uh, a, it was. It was King when he was the assistant to Mr. Powanski. Yeah. I, yeah, I think that's right, yeah. And they yeah, had a little I'm trouble sure. getting him to move so they could start building the, building right. the library, am I right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I he do... He was very uh, comfortable there. But also, the, the one that uh, that's at the other end of that parking lot was um, uh, a private home of somebody who hosted the wedding of Henry Wheatley and Arturo. Oh. Artrell, who for years was at at UBI registrar, etc. <laughs> she uh, and, and we she looked, was a wonderful registrar. Yeah, and Fred, my husband Fred was a very good friend of, of Henry's. Uh, they met in uh, San Old San Juan. <laughs> <laughs> so so anyway, that yeah that that uh, house. Was a private was a private home either of or I don't know on, on, on lease something. like they leased the Navy leased yeah. uh, Water Island yeah you know, something like that, that. that's yeah. what it was but so I, but so I, the but the, I do uh, I do remember because when we when we arrived on St Thomas they were the library was under construction yeah. as well as the nursing education okay. building but and then at some point before UBI moved in before the president that became you know right the upper. Upper mm -hmm. floor mm -hmm. became uh, administration, 
right. along with the dormitories and everything up there. <laughs> and the, um, the um, lower part before then, it was, it was a hotel actually mm -hmm. for a while, and they had this bar downstairs, and they had these uh, bar stools. And you're talking about the old CA building. Yeah, they had, they had these bar stools, which we then took to be uh, lab stools. <laughs> and we took, Great. we took pieces of um, uh, cement blocks and put uh, old, you know, pe put pieces of plywood on top of them and plugged in and put in an electric system for, I think we had 15 students in the first lab and by, uh, general biology lab, and we had something like five microscopes. So they had to share them and then they had to share the slides and they had to share the beakers. And I mean, but, and there was a, we would open, because there was no air conditioning, we would open those great big doors, you know, uh -huh. towards the outside. Sure. And um, then the sand flies would come in around four o'clock in the afternoon, and the airplanes. Every time the airplanes came in, of course, we had to stop. Well, we had that for years. <laughs> the whole time we taught the CA building, and then we taught up in the. Yes, but do you know that the trustees thought it would be a great idea if, if the airport would be moved. Yes. To the lagoon, mm -hmm. and Bill McLean and myself complained to the Board of Trustees, and the Board of Trustees uh, told us, you know, we, we had no right to, uh, you know, <laughs> to, to suggest any such thing, but we finally won out in the end, because, you know, we, we, kept, we kept after them, saying, you know, that that is an area where you definitely should not, you know, spoil a lagoon by filling it in with a runway and everything. So anyway, to go back well, to um, the... story I heard, though, was that um, Mr. Pawanski didn't want the planes to take off over um, Hassel Island. Well, Hassel Island, that was a, another, you know, that was part and of the issue. That was another reason to send it yeah. out to Lagoon. But moving on, back to yeah. the college. We, and we then, got distracted a bit. Yeah, well, it's easy to get into stuff. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Uh, then I was asked to do the chemistry lab, but I, but I chemistry lab stuff. But I said no. I'm sorry. You know, I, I'm just not qualified for that. Uh, but when the nursing program started, uh, we In before that we definitely knew we needed another lab. And by that time, of course, the downstairs lab had been fixed up properly, so that was used for um, for for chemistry when chemistry came in which was another year or two. We went up to the third floor. Yeah, and we went to the third floor, and that was an all-purpose lab. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was really great because, I mean, we had a little, my husband designed it. We had a little place in the back, which was like a little reading section with references and, and um, uh, little uh, uh, programs they could look at, you know, on, on uh, what do you call them, discs and so on. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we had a, a preparation room with, with the autoclave to, uh, to make media and we, we made, uh, I had to spend weekends and we didn't have, any, we didn't have a lab assistant uh, for a while. And so at first, here I was, I had, I had four kids. I had, <laughs> and my husband, thank God, he, he, uh, he was very good about it. I, I would spend weekends and holidays making media and preparing for the lab. And until we finally do get a, a helper, and then uh, for the nursing students, of course, that's what the the autoclave and that prep, that big prep room was for that, and it worked out really well. And they did it, and whoever designed the nursing arts lab and the classroom all combined mm. at the end of that. At the end of that, the, yeah. the hallway. Yeah. It was a it was a very comfortable teaching situation. Yeah, the classroom. Uh, that was special later. I think the first classes were, were down, the first nursing lecture classes were down on the first floor, just like all the others were. Right. Uh, but it worked out okay. Mm -hmm. it, it, yeah. Where was the library for the college? Oh, there was a, <laughs> there was a little room up uh, <laughs> where everything was practically.